What is good, YouTube? That instant analysis. As soon as I find out the news, I'm already recording the video. You got to love that. We're going to talk about Darren Williams joining the Cleveland Cavaliers, a championship team that had a lot of injuries so far this year. That's why they off to a, a decent start. They're third in the NBA, I believe, or fourth under the Rockets. I don't remember, but they in the top five teams in the NBA. LeBron said he needed a point guard. He needed a playmaker, and he has one in Kyrie Irving. He's been stepping up, scoring and passing wise, but they needed to be a backup. Darren Williams, he, he was unbelievable about 2010, 2011. After that, he had a series of injuries. This one thing I say about Cleveland, though, he came back and had a better season last year, even though... It wasn't an all-star level performance that we expect of him, but he was a lot more healthier, and he put up some decent numbers. And the thing about Darren Williams that I like the most is that he's not a point guard that looks to dominate the ball. He's not a point guard that he has to do everything. He He's not that type of point guard. He's more of a team player. He likes to run the offense. He likes to make sure people get in their touches. He likes to get assists. He's not a ball hall point guard that likes to shoot up a lot of shots and score. He's a system player. And I like that the Cleveland, they don't really need much from him, but to come in and be a backup to Kyrie. So he's not going to be expanding that much energy. He's not going to be doing all this crazy stuff. They're not expecting him to be an all-star or a superstar no more. He just has to come in there, do his job, play his game, fill out his teammates, get some chemistry, and get ready to win a championship. Because Dallas, right now, they're not really on page to make the playoffs. They still can go on a win streak and make it. But the odds of that happening is low because they have so many injuries. But he's going to a title contender. People will be happy to see Darren Williams get a ring. People will be happy to see Darren Williams playing for a contender like I am because I'm a fan of his still. But he averaged 13 and 7 assists playing for the Dallas Mavericks. He still can shoot up spot up mid range. He still can get some backdoor cuts. He still can post up. He's a respectable three point shooter, especially from the spot up. And he still can knock down free throws. He still can run the offense. And he still can guard his position. Not the best defender like he used to be a decent defender, but he does enough where he's not a liability all the time. And he has the size, he has the strength to still be a matchup nightmare depending on the point guards. Like I said, 13 and 7 is respectable. It's not amazing. It's not all-star. It's not star. But it means you're respectable. If he can come in and just do 8 and 3, that'd be good. Like I said, they need, Mo Williams didn't really do nothing last year, and they won a championship. So they're not really expecting Darren Williams to do that much. So this is a good pickup for them. He's going to have a good career Going to Cleveland, whether you do it for one season or multiple seasons. Darren Williams played with LeBron James in the All-Star game when he went to the Brooklyn Nets. And they know each other. They they respect each other. And Darren Williams on the end of his, on a bad end of his career. And he's just trying to come in and, and help a contender. And one thing I know, if they can get Andrew Bogut and Darren Williams, it's gonna they match up good against Golden State. So we're gonna have to see. How that's going to turn out. But right now, this is a good pickup for them. It's, it's what LeBron wanted. So that's all you can say. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully, Darren Williams can have a successful career. Because I'm looking forward to him contributing to the Cavaliers now.